Hello? Hey Kev, what's going on? You wow, you sound like you had a long day already, man. God bless, man. How you doing? Everything is great, man. So, now yeah, we're doing this for Hot 97, so thanks so much for your time. The first thing I got to say is, right along too, I just want to tell you right now, this part two created a classic for the overall franchise. Like, it's, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. I'm glad, I'm glad that you think that, man. You know, we did a lot of hard work. Uh, you know, we put our blood, sweat, tears into this movie. And, you know, we're going to make it a lot better than the first one. We want to make it bigger and, 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 and better. So, the way to do that, we're going to have more time and more action. I think we achieved that goal. Oh, you achieved it on more scales than one, man. Now, the main question I wanted to ask you, and I think this, like, this is like very important to me. But when you included um, uh, Olivia Munn into the fold, that right there, I think, brought a whole new level of diversity. I think it's something that's going to bring more people into the fold, and I think it makes the actual movie even more fun. Do you guys got plans to do like another ride along? Like, is this something that you, that's going to be continue where you bring in more people and and bring that energy like that? Mm, nice, nice. Now, major question, man. Will Smith and Martin, like bad boys like i love that franchise from back in the day now we got right along cube and kevin hart like do you think because me personally this would be like super crazy kev but if y'all all four came together and brought like that bad boys right along type of thing together do you think that's even possible considering that there's rumor that the bad boys three is coming and that's supposed to come back to life could you see yourselves working all together for like a big epic movie or something like that I mean, look, you know, you don't never want to say never. Uh, you know, right now, we're keeping myself and just trying to do what to, to make a, a name for ourselves and for our generation, you know, put a stamp, uh, you know, on that, on that ride along, on that ride along path. Now, who knows what the future holds, you know? I think uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence have an amazing job with that boy one and two. And, you know, I'm a fan of both and a fan of that movie. Uh, but, you know, you don't ever want to confuse those brains. That's something that, that, that brought those situations together. And that would be huge. But you want their brand to live separately because that's a brand that they build on their own. You don't ever want to merge the two. Uh, mm. I think it does, it does a disservice to the actual brand that those two actors went into. Mm. Now, I'm not sure if you remember this, but when you guys was doing right along the first one, um, the big video game, like Call of Duty-ish type of energy that y'all had, now looking at this one, my favorite part is when Grandma beat your ass. Like, that was like my favorite, one of my favorite parts in the movie, man. I loved it, man. <laughs> Seriously, it was so crazy, man. But what I want to ask y'all, like, I really think you guys have something here, possibly over at Heartbeat Productions, where you can actually do a serious game with a serious game publisher good game developers and create a whole new revenue stream for your brand man like is this something that you would like consider especially now that you got the second ride along you know done and you got more involved with the yeah. gaming correspondent well you guys already know man I'm always moving always working uh, I never stop so right now we do have some stuff at work you can be seeing this I'm just waiting for the announcement. But uh, just know that I don't, I don't ever do anything half ass. You know, I go right. hard or I go home. So I'm doing what I'm about to go hard with. You guys will see it and I think appreciate it. But uh, it's, it's, it's gaming and it's gaming at the different level. Mm. Now, two more questions and I'll wrap it up. Uh, the next question is, if, if I'm not mistaken, but is this truly your like last stand-up that you was going to do? Because I, I was there at the Garden, man, when you shut it down. I was there, man. And, yo, I, honestly, man, like, I love you, dog. And I, I don't want to see you leave stand-up yet. Like, I, you're so good, man. And it means a lot to me and it means a lot to other people. So, what's up? Stand-up comedy. Leaving stand-up comedy is definitely not an option. You know, uh, I'm always going to be a comedian. I don't ever plan on going back. 
Yo, that's amazing. It's like, last question. Now, Drake beat Meek Mill, but I never seen Drake go up against Chocolate Dropper. Like, like, <laughs> what's up, man? Come on, Kevin. I, I think I think it's time for you to make like a surprise epic video. Like, like Shaq, like you could come in on Shaq's shoulders and then drop a bomb or Drake or something like that, man. I think that'd be funny. Like any kind of like parody videos you guys got playing over there at Heartbeat Productions to capitalize on like the good energy in hip hop. Yo, yo, that's amazing. That's amazing, man. So look, I just want to say thank you so much, man, on the behalf of High 97, uh, GameStop, BT, man. We support you. I saw the movie and I'm going to see it again. And look, man, you got one of your biggest fans and biggest support supporters. And I consider myself a friend because I really love what you've done and how you share your life with us, man. So thank you so much. And we look forward to everything else you got going on. I appreciate the love and support, man. To all the listeners, thank you. Make sure y'all go see Ride Along too. It's Peter Jane here. Just take it. All right, no problem, man. Take care. Be out of here, baby. Peace. Hot boy.